Okay, um, I was going to tell you something, but I forgot. Is that the tip of my tongue? <laughs> my producer wrote that. He thought that would be very funny for me to stick out my tongue. But believe it or not, your tongue actually does say a lot about you. Not loudly like that, but um, it's about your health. Doctors actually can tell. That's why they ask you when you go. They're not just hanging out with that big, you know, popsicle stick saying, stick out your tongue for nothing. So anyway, someone who knows a lot about that, um, Dr. Terry Alani. She's a great dentist. She's my dentist. I've stuck out my tongue a lot for you. You have. I have a healthy tongue? Yes, you do. Amen to that. <laughs> okay, but there are some things, big indicators that we can look at right at our tongue. You know, all we have to do is see that a couple of little things, and you're going to tell us it's kind of gross, but you know what? That's It's our body. We should know these things. Exactly. And, you know, when you go to the dentist and we tell you to stick out their tongue, your tongue, we do it for a reason because you can really detect a lot of deficiencies or whatever mm -hmm. in your body from just the tongue. Okay, so white, a white tongue. White, pasty, um, I think we have a picture. It's not yeah, very I know. attractive. Oh, wow. <laughs> Girlfriend. That Woo. is actually known as thrush. I know you guys have heard of it. And basically what it's caused from is if you've been on antibiotics for a long time, mm -hmm. your body will suppress the bacteria in your mouth and then the yeast start to um, come up. And that is a yeast infection. It's a on yeast infection tongue? on your tongue. Yes. Oh. And wow. it's easy to treat. Um, <laughs> you can treat it with a nice statin solution, which is prescribed mm -hmm. by the dentist. It's an oral solution and it'll go away in like two to three days. Okay. So that's good to know. Right. Woo, we don't want to walk around that. that. Things can get a little hairy with that, which is what our <laughs> next tongue is about. A hairy tongue. That's oh. Oh, okay. Let's, <laughs> this yeah, let's is get out called, of that picture. Uh, guess, black hairy tongue. And the black you, hairy you tongue. You seem to be just like unflappable. We we <laughs> see these. This is what we see. But the black hairy tongue, it's really not that much to be alarmed about. Mm -hmm. It can be caused by excessive tobacco, and of course, mm -hmm. tobacco can also cause oral cancer. It can be caused by excessive coffee, mm -hmm. drinking tea, and an interesting thing is Pepto-Bismol can cause it. Yes, I actually, you know, one of our staff members got really sick and she was had a stomach virus. We kept giving her Imodium, Imodium, and then I called the doctor and I said, oh my gosh, her tongue is green. What's going on? Or black or something like that. And he said, oh, it's just the Imodium. It has bismuth in it. And okay. that's what, now, a uh, real simple solution is, of course, brush your tongue two to three times a day to get rid of it. And mm -hmm. another one is to rinse with a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and water. Okay. And that will get rid well, that's of it. That's a good one. Now, yeah. now, sore spots, you know, those little, like, are these these little, um, like, bumps you can get, you know, if you eat something spicy or what Canker is that? Canker sores. Ooh. Canker sores. Whoa. These hurt. We see these a lot. A lot of patients come in. It's usually viral, so mm -hmm. an antibiotic will not take care of it. It lasts mm -hmm. about 7 to 14 days. If it lasts longer, go see your dentist because it can be oral cancer, and we have diagnosed that lately in our office. Oh, So wow. if you see these areas that don't go away, um, they are caused, basically, if there's anything going on in your life, mm -hmm. such as stress, of course, uh -huh. we all have stress, any type of um, cold, mm -hmm. flu, citrus fruits. Mm -hmm. Citrus fruits can cause it, and they hurt. Yeah. So basically, you can take care of it with, uh, we tell you, salt water or like mm -hmm. Kenalog, or a base, anything over the counter like that can take care of it, but they just go away on their own. Okay, so how many days? Seven, seven, seven to eight? fourteen okay. days. Biting um, your tongue will also cause it. Oh, okay. and they're viral; they're not bacterial, so there's nothing you, you can, can do. do. All right, just suffer through, exactly. suffer through, and get rid of the stress. One other thing is mm -hmm. something you need to look at if you do get these canker sores, and a lot of people are predisposed genetically. Mm -hmm. Stay away from SLS in the toothpaste; it's sodium lauryl sulfate, mm -hmm. and you just want to stay away from that in spicy foods because that will aggravate it. And you said citrus also. Citrus, yes. That can cause it and aggravate exactly. it at the same time. Okay, um, pale and smooth tongue. Pale I would and think smooth that's tongue. normal. No, your tongue should be healthy and mm -hmm. pink. A pale and smooth tongue is a sign of iron deficiency anemia because mm -hmm. your oxygen is not getting to the tissues to create that red look. Okay. And basically just see your doctor and probably get on irons. Get on some That's iron. why, so, you know, when your grandmother said stick your tongue yeah. out, she knew what she was talking yeah, about. Yeah, she did. Yeah. I was like, why? Why, Grandma? You just like to see me look like a fool. I know it. Um, oh, okay, red and painful. Okay, if it's red and painful, you can have a deficiency of vitamin B3, which is niacin, vitamin mm -hmm. B12, which is folic acid. Okay. If it's red and painful just for short term, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. Now, the interesting thing is uh, cinnamon gum mm -hmm. can cause your um, tongue to hurt. 
Really? They can cause it to be irritated. Yeah, there's little bitty things that, you know. Cinnamon gum. Cinnamon gum. Now what, what B12, and you said folic, that's folic B12 acid. B12 is folic what, what, acid. What kind of foods can we eat we can, that we could get that that's in? That's a good question. Um, folic, anything with folic acid, and I don't know the answer. Okay, I but don't banana, know. I think. A banana has folic acid. Maybe. I Maybe think our listeners will know. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I think they do. <laughs> See, we don't know. We don't take vitamins. Um, it's a bad thing. Acidic foods also like pineapple. Oh, okay. Pineapple. Yeah, that Stay can, away from. Yeah. Stay, steer clear mm -hmm. of the cinnamon, gum, and the pineapple. Right. Right. Um, and then how about the geographic tongue? I didn't understand Geographic this tongue is exactly, you can take a look at the picture, it's exactly mm -hmm. what it looks like. It looks like a map. Yes. And basically it's also genetic. Women are three times more predisposed to this than mm -hmm. men. It's benign. Um, zinc enhancements can help correct it, but it's really not anything to be worried about. We see it a lot. Okay, so does my tongue tell the future? Um, it would be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm going to have a promising future I right now. I do. I do. So she says I have a promising future based on my geographic tongue. But anyway, that's why I love Dr. Alani. She knows everything. Anyway, um, give her a call, please, because she is the best dentist here. 621 5141. And even my tongue would tell you that. Actually, it just did. So stick with us, everybody. We'll be right back.